Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Now in this episode what I would like to do is let's see if we can do any of the <laughs> things I'm having difficulty with at the moment and that is applied energistics. I need to find some charged crystals because without that we can't get any further. So let's have a look. Let's trundle off back to the overworld starting that one. I've got two more buckets of Crothium with me here so jelly Crothium so we can finish that off. I've also discovered, well, I'm being a bit of an idiot, which isn't exactly the first time. I put a block of snow down here. I was testing it out. I was going, all right, let's just test this block of snow out here. And I put it down. And I took a shovel and I bashed it one. And it just disappeared. I thought, oh, okay, that's not very good. Let's try that again. This time it didn't. It gave me four snowballs back. <laughs> so, well, there you are then. This is working just fine if I use the right tool, that is. So what I had also done is I'd made an upgrade. Oh, I need to go and collect that quest actually because I've done that one quest. So this will be thermal. Huh? I completed this quest in here. So let's just clean that loot chest. I think I could do another one as well. I did claim a signal on my thing, but that was between <laughs> the episodes. I'm not 100% sure. It's not that he matters too much. Oh, right, some interdiction tool and vial of feather feet, which I guess is for <laughs> feather falling. Oh, I suppose I haven't got any more room for this one. No. Two more, and I don't have any chance of putting those into there unless I do something with something else that's in here. Um, let's take the black lotus. Oh, this is all botania stuff, isn't it? Astral sorcery, let's take this out of there. And use the astral sorcery somewhere else. Probably in here if I've got space. Oh, I see. It goes in because. No, no, it doesn't. <laughs> goes down to my hot bar. Well, I'm wondering whether I need any of these graves at this flower. Maybe I can get rid of them. But there is a book I need to make from Astral Source if I wanted to carry on with that one. I'm not really into magic mods, I will be honest with you. Uh, is there anything in here we could get rid of? Scorsia stone. I think we can get rid of some Scorsia stone. That's all. I think I've set up one of. The yes, that's good. Get rid of it in there. A bit of space in there, so I thought I'd put some more of these items in there, or blocks in there that I'm probably never going to use again. Let's just see what we can actually take and get how much of this we can get in it. Fact, in that case, if I'm going to do that, I might as well do the upgrade on it as well at the same time. One emerald upgrade, and I can't do the void upgrade yet, but we can do the emerald upgrade. It's really only intended as an intended. As a temporary chest, this one. 881. That would have filled it up, definitely. Um, I can't see we'll ever getting any more of that stuff, to be honest with you. I'm not even sure if it's got any good uses. The other one in here was called Soulstone, I think. Or Soulstone. I'm not sure which one I've got in there. So that's given us a bit more space in that chest, anyway. Let's just see. I'm not sure whether this is. That was probably the. Okay, that was the soul stone. So we could cook this, mate. Yeah. Uh, soul stone. Or I could put it back into here like this. And I think, yes. There was a store already in here. Now, I have no idea what we do with boot boot warp. Or let's look at the uses of this one. Basically, we can cook it into this one. And that's no good because I don't think that helps us very much. But generally, what I do is to break it. Let's put one down. Let's see what it gives us if we break it. Okay, it gave us something. Wub gems from Tiny Produ Productions. I reckon that's what we have to make. Looks a bit like an unsmiley face. <laughs> Let's do this one as well. So I've got six of these. These of these. Let's have a look. We can make a bucket of wub juice. That's fantastic. And which one do we do with that? I have no idea. Does it have any, any uses whatsoever? Other than put it into jars. <laughs> ah, end portal. So, does the end portal need woodwood juice? If it does, then that's going to be uh, interesting. Okay. I 
I think the end portal did do that. Let's go and have a check of that quest, by the way. Uh, let's put this into, let's put these wood gems in there. And have a look at that quest. A four for the quest. Oh, sorry, let's get back at the end. So that's done that one. And I think that is probably moving worlds, other worlds, isn't it? End portal. So the end portal is the multi block. Just like the nether portal, I guess, or the overworld portal. With ender eyes in the port and liquid dark stone, which we can pump into it. So it's nothing to dawn stone, sorry, not dark stone. So it then consumes one with it, very much like the other one, but just slightly different. Dawn stone, I'm not sure I've seen any dawn stone. And we need ruins, so we need to get them with Britannia for that stuff. Let's have a look for Dawnstone. I was having, I was thinking about doing um, an extractor, but I decided I don't like Industry Craft too much. It's one of those mods that is different from every other mod, and I don't see why it needs to be. Like you break things, and it breaks the, th the item. It's, but it does have some good bits and pieces in it, so I can't complain really. So well, let's have a look. What did I want? Dawnstone, didn't I? Now, what does Dawnstone look like? Well, we've got a Dawnstone ingot. A dawnstone block. Well, yeah, that's fair enough. So where do we get this one? Is there a... Well, it's just a repair tool that a stamping recipe to make ingots from molten dawn stone, which we can get by. I presume we have to melt something or other. Well, ah, okay, so it's a mixing recipe. So gold plus molten copper will give us molten dawn stone, which we then make into that. Okay. That isn't too difficult, in fact. What's the mixer recipe? So it's just some plates and a mechanical core, which isn't exactly too difficult. We could do that one. But first of all, I would like to go over to the overworld and see if we can find any more stuff. I've got 25 XP, that should be enough. In fact, I've got two more hearts anyway. So let's have a look. I've got those two hearts from some blaze blight spider. So I must have put those on to us. So let's go down and have a look. I found something else. I found actually two. Now where are they? I think. You know what I should do here. Let's do this. Control Z. Let's turn all of them off. So I want the I want the base. I want the portal on. And I would like the quarry on. And I would like. I found some meteors here. On. And I think that'll do for now. So we should be able to see them much easier. There's the quarry. There's the portal. And the blue one is over here. So let's go and have a visit of that one. Might even find some more on the way actually. I was just pottering around looking for stuff. I don't know what time of day it is, I must be honest. I'll look at the clock here, so it's thirteen to two o'clock in the afternoon. Okay. So here I found a couple of these. Let's go and have oh, those sheep, yes. So I've got my hammer. Oh and I still haven't shown you how to use this thing. It just charges up with feathers. So right, let's just take this, press the or excavation button and dig it all up. Did I find the chest or just fun skystone at the moment? This is actually a slightly larger one. Oh yes, I found a silicon plate. Okay, not so useful, but uh, let's go and do the next one. I've actually got already found a few of these. Where is there's two together here? So 
Let's pound away at this one. Of course, I could do this the, the normal way, but as it happens, I'm tending to find them where there's a chest. Oh, it's here, look. What have we got to Engineering press, fantastic. That actually the last one. Let's have a look at this. I've just been going around. Every time I've found some, I've found some of these. So basically now I've got all four presses. So engineering, logic, inscribe a calculation, and silicon press. So all we have to do now, and that was interesting. What the first applicant? Okay. Let's take that out of there. In fact, I don't need any of the so Let's put it up here. Oh, 256. In fact, in that case, let's do it into the... 12 one hit and it'll probably stack into this completely 300 and we've got the sky stone chest from there as well these harch crystals those are from the heart ore and all you do with this one if you look at the uses of this you put it together in nine you get hearts that's not too bad is it and um the recipe i presume it's the same in the compact too yet yeah, nine makes a heart and the recipe for this doesn't have one but um it's just that heart stone that ore that we found before so let's just do that one just get it together and it's fine now this thing here you charge it up with feathers and then all you have to do is you hold it up like this and as you hold it it sends you up of course you've got to be careful make sure you've got flight or some way to land or if you let yourself <laughs> so right that's the end of those let's see if we can find i wonder Let's go and do a bit of ore excavation around here. Some nice oh, telithium crystals are always very good to have. Let's get this out of our hand. I've got this with us today, so that makes life a bit easier. Let's also get rid of... I'll have the silk touch, silk touch pick with me, and I'll put this down. Let's put this down here, for example. No, we'll keep it with us. Let's just get digging. So first of all, I'm going to or excavate this away. And then we're going to go down a bit here. And I'm going to go straight down. Because it doesn't really matter. I've got fire protection and I've got... Uh, so, what did I just pick up then? So that is quartz ore. And there's some more up here. It's not charged, unfortunately. Let's just or excavate that away. If I've got this in my hand, I'm going to eat. Uh, it eats reasonably fast, I think. What should do. Because it's got... Um, can't hear it doing it today. Cobalt paper hammer. But it's tasty. If it's tasty, it should give you food. So let's carry on down, down here like this. But let's simply go right, click it. Like that. And we've got food back again. So let's go down here. What level are we at? Do you know, I've got no idea where we can find charged testicles. Have a look. If there's a, if there's a gives us a hint by looking at the things in here. That's what E. So let's have a look for charged surface quartz. This one. So what does it tell me? I've got for energetic infuser oh really oh gosh so simple i don't even have to worry about it what i was looking for well what's this one a later industrial foregoing will also charge it up i guess a gray laser light i'm not sure how this works in fact let's go and have a look so i'm not going to look for any more of that i've got plenty of such as quartz already, so we can do the rest. Fluids crystal. In fact, it must be night time because of the funny colours. So let's go back to the world. There's another one of these uh, astral sorcery things here. I think that's a large one, isn't it? So this should be an interesting one. Well, first of all, get rid of the water. Let's 
too far away. <laughs> Try again. Good. And then we can just simply go down here. So let's simply bash this away here. Oh. I think we'll use. Uh, I'll tell you what we'll use. We'll use the pickaxe. in ore excavation mode. So we've got some chests down here. There'll be another crystal gap down here, I guess. Yes, there is. And in the chest, we've got some more important bits and pieces. I need to make the book, but I have to make a special thing for the book. Now, I've lost my... For some reason, somewhere or other, I've lost my thingy, and I don't know where it is. When I say thingy, what I'm talking about is my mattock. I don't know, I don't know what I've done with it. We can pick it up with anyway so we should get two around here yeah this time we've got some more of these now these are actually we need the book there's a book we have to make for the for this so let's just get rid of this stuff in here I think that will do I'll take the chest along now, I think there's other stuff underneath here as well. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just have a look down a bit. Well, we just seem to come to the... Uh, nothing exciting down there, is there? I'm not sure if, I, if we have to go right the way down. Whether it's just two blocks, because we hit stone straight after that, so I guess there's only two blocks of it, isn't there? Okay. So let's mark this one. In fact, let's put a crafting frame down here, because that's one of the things you've got to do, I believe. And I've got some wood. Somewhere I have got some wood. Yep, here. One more look at that. I'll make a crafting table and then we put the crafting table it gets a, a shaft of light from this thing here like that and then we can actually craft other stuff bits and pieces with that one and there's a mob somewhere I'm not sure it's below me or let's go and have a look if it's below me that means there is a space underneath there oops that must be blowing me. Okay, let's kind of look what it is. In fact, while we're doing that, we might as well or excavate this as well. Away oh, as well. So underneath here. So we've got buckets, haven't we? Should have four buckets with me. Oh, I'll have two because I haven't put that other stuff up yet. I need to go and do that, don't I? Where has it gone to? There we go. Uh, let's get rid of the other one. And then we can simply block off the other two that come sitting around here like this. And then we can have a look down here, see what's down here. Well, I don't see anything special down there. Let's just try again. Okay, it's just a cave system. Hmm. So, with flight, life makes this a lot easier. Now, I'm supposed to make something on here, but I'm not going to do that today. <laughs> because I can't remember what it was. Right, let's go back to the um, portal. Okay. Did I mark that astral sorcery bit? There is one near us, so I don't really need to, do I? But we'll actually mark it just in case we need to get here again. Let's go to mark as astral sorcery like that. And then I'll forget what it was, of course, because I usually do. I 
another one over there. We can have a look at that one as well for that matter. They are supposed to be in um, cold biomes as well, this astral sorcery stuff, from what I believe. Then we actually won't do it the hard way. Let's break away these bits here like this today. There it is. Now oh, we've got some more ores and stuff that we actually would like to keep. Let's have a look. Let's get rid of these three. And that. Somehow I managed to get some industrial hemp seeds. I don't know where they came from. Right, that's good. But I can take the chest as well, can't I? wouldn't bother taking just normally but they are quite hard to make relatively I was gonna have a look and see how the quarry is getting on because I touched it out again made it go a bit further What's it got? I think actually it doesn't got anything interesting in this this time. I think it's finished. Well, it's fully charged up with 10 million um, RF, so we could actually move it around again. Well, I won't do that now. I'll do that off camera if anything comes up as exciting. So I'm going to go back this way today. So much stuff on me. Fancy that working in that. That's really cool. I like that actually. That's so we can do that straight away. It will be. It's the one beside the post. It'll be this one, won't it? So let's put these three into there. And they should charge up. <laughs> wow, is that easy? Oh, and I never put the. The cacrothium down, but I don't need it because the thing's full anyway. Did I show you that? Yes, I did. Good. I was thinking about the rending gale again, but you know, I spent ages trying to figure out how to get that thing to work, and all of a sudden it worked. Maybe it was just broken before, I don't know. So, what have we got in here that we don't need with us? Let's get rid of these ores. Let's... Actually, let's put this one down now. Move these two buckets of water out of the way. That's interesting. They stack there. These stack there. That's interesting because I'm surprised they stack. In fact, now let's take the fortune pick. What have we done with it? I know you've seen it, and I can't see it. Look, did I not put it into there? I put it in one of these. I did as well. This is Fortune 3. Insight 3. I'm not sure exactly what Insight does, but let's not much. Let's do this. Advancement made shocking. Yes, okay. <laughs> so we've got eight charged fluids crystals now. So we need to re some another another core. Let's get that out of here. Oh, we can't do that. Hey, can we got to do that? Because we've got to drop this into a pool of water. The pool of water doesn't exist in the nether, so right, I'll we'll take a few more of these then. Let's take the same numbers we've got here, eight. And we need some redstone, eight of those will do. I haven't got any redstone, let's just make some redstone. Nine will do, won't it? half of these back into there. We have to go back to the overworld in that case. Has it got no space in that chest? Oh yes, we've got space. Just. <laughs> right, let's go and make our first fluids crystal. Um, well, base I suppose. I haven't got any water. Oh, I could do water here, couldn't I? Let's just do that here. Where am I going to do this? Somewhere nice. Because I've still got this glass layer on here. Which means you can break the glass. No problem. Oh, I've got a oh, full up. <laughs> I didn't empty this stuff out. Breaking the glass gave me a prosperity shard. That was very nice of it. 
So all we now need is a bucket of water, which is in here. Let's put a bucket of water in here. So now we should be able to chuck some of these into here. So we'll just do one of each to start with. Let's move this out of the way and this out of the way. In fact, let's do it like this. And the charged such as quartz crystals are here. So turn off my magnet stuff, I think. So. And I'm picking everything up. Oh, okay, it must be my magnet must be on. Didn't think it was. It says it's glowing, isn't it? I can see it. Try again. Yep, that's it. Unnatural. And we've completed the quest for the crystals. Fantastic. I think I want about... We want some to do a seed as well, so let's just check that into there. Now, a seed will be four, bound to be. Okay, good. All that time spent looking for charged certis quartz, and there it is sitting us in the face. We've got eight of those. So, now, let's see if we can actually get... Where are we going to do this? We need a pool of water, a four, a two by two. That shouldn't be too difficult. I think I'll do it here. And I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Let's have a look. I want some dirt. Don't have any in there. That's probably in here. Let's see if we can get some dirt out of here. Oh, actually, I don't need dirt, do I? Let's. Oh, I do need a bit further away. I think. Where can we do this? It needs yeah, a little loo. Let's do it here. So I need my so touch pickaxe. Wrong, wrong tool. <laughs> that we need to put one of these dirts back down here and I oh, hold on a second I'll keep that with me we need one of those because that's the, that opens up the portal we need eight saplings and we need some water got one bucket of water here we can always get some more water because it's just over there just over the other side there. So let's put down the dirt, which is in the back, which is in this dank, dank null. For some reason, when I do that, it doesn't always shift click it, and I don't get it. No, it doesn't. Just simply rotated it one. So I want one piece of this. Put that one piece of this here, like that, and then put water into here. I'm gonna have to get some more water. Let's, and where's the other bucket gone to? There we are. So we need another couple of buckets of water. Um, it's funny when it doesn't. Fix itself, isn't it? When you're doing that, so that one and that one, and there must be one more here. Let's just get one more bucket of water. There we go. So we just put eight saplings around the outside of this. Have to bring that torch. Oops. Like this, actually. I'm probably in the way. Where's the other sapling gone to? Well, I got no more saplings there. What a nuisance! I'm sure I had eight. Maybe I broke it and he didn't give it me back. Oh, no big deal. We can get a sapling from here, I guess. Um, I should have with me a compressed crook. Fantastic.
Well, that should do as a sapling. Let's put it down here. Not tell any one goes like that. And then what we're supposed to do is throw a flux crystal in here. Let's go here. Q. Oh. Or was it? Oh, what's wrong with this then? It's got to have grass around it. It's got grass around it here. I don't think this one matters very much. Let's have a look. Let's go and check that quest again because I've com forgotten. Well, maybe I haven't forgotten. Maybe I just got it wrong. So I press F4. So it was this one here. Oh, dungeon map, Twilight Forest Dimension. So you need to two by two with filled with water, surrounded with grass. Put flowers on. I thought you could put okay, and a fluid crystal in the water and jump in. Okay, so we need flowers. I thought saplings used to work. Aha. Uh -huh. I think I know what the problem is. Other than having a completely full inventory. Just must have left it down there somewhere. So let's go and get some flowers quickly. There's plenty over here. Look. I see a lot of flowers over here. Let's take these marigolds. Fourteen. That's far too many. I wonder if the animation has dis well, gone to. I wonder if the animation has disappeared for this thing. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll do it like this. Okay, that's enough of those. Put in a fluid crystal. Jump in. Ha! Did I get that wrong? Just a second. Throw in a fluid crystal in the water and jump in. Well, I'm confused. We have to turn the magnet off again. Let's just turn the magnet off again. Well, I must have got something wrong. It's surrounded by grass. I wonder if there's anything special I have to do here. Let's just let's just move these grass blocks off here like this. I can't think of it needing to. Oops, that's not a very good idea. Haha. <laughs> um. Are you trying to attack me? Oh, yes, do. Well, you can't do that, mate. Let's, let's sort you out. Thank you. Because I picked up a load of stuff that I don't really want. So, try again. Let's get rid of these. I'll need to get rid of these as well, don't I? Let's set this up. Let's get rid of all this stuff I don't want. Got all that stuff. I'll keep the interdiction torch with me because I'm going to probably put that in there. Let's try that again. I can't think there's anything wrong here, but lots of mobs around. Throw that into the water. Jump in. Well, it don't work. So, I'm 
pretty sure they don't need to be on the corners. And it doesn't say they have to be different types of things. Let's just try that one again. I'd expect you to see a, do something. It's not because it can't see the daylight, is it? Okay, let's assume that it is. Weird. They're not decaying very fast, are they? Should be decaying a little bit faster. Let's just get rid of these. All right, now this starts to decay. Good. So it still doesn't look like it's working, and I don't know what to do. It does say flex crystal, doesn't it? It doesn't say charge set is got crystal or something like that. Well, I'm going to have to figure out what's going wrong with this. Or we can try a charge city quartz crystal. I think I've still got a couple on me. Let's try that. I've put this bug up. Bugs everywhere. Nope. It don't work. And I can't think of anything else it could be. Let me just turn my mic on again. Oh, okay. So that's a bit of a sh that's a bit of a problem. What time is it? Thirty-seven minutes. Okay. So let's just go up here and fix this as well. I could actually go the quick way, of course, but this saves XP. <laughs> so if we stand down here, let's put the... I really am full to the brim, aren't I? Let's go and get my shovel. Let's shovel this off and get snowballs. Oh yes, we can. <laughs> right, good. So now I need to break these blocks at the top here. Come actually... Bit of breaking, isn't it? So it was, it was just here that we've got one missing, and I think the other one was just here. Yes, let's put those two blocks and let's put those two buckets into here. I don't know whether it makes any difference to be honest with you. Let's have a look. Da, da, da. Of course, it's in the last chest. There's one. And there's two, so we can now put those blocks back and form our reactor again. So I think now it's possible to, to, it's turned itself off. Is it actually off? Status offline, good. So it's not generating any more power. And we've got six uh, ingots in there. Well, that's okay, Signal in, in, uh, we have got a reprocessor that was removed from extreme reactors. Okay, I think that's good. So, next episode, what are we going to do? Well, if anybody can help me with that. Let's do it like this. Oops. If anybody can help me with the Twilight Forest, tell me what I'm doing wrong. I'll have a go at that. So, that crystal that um, we found in there, Melico told me I shouldn't break that because that's part of it. So, we're not going to do that. And we have to set it up down there. So maybe we'll do a bit of astral sorcery next time. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, so until then, I'm going to say bye for now.